Thanks for joining us at How My Honda Works. Today we're going to be doing a uh, pretty simple Bluetooth pairing with iOS or iPhone um, with your 2016-2017 Honda Accord. So first things first, uh, we're going to be going to the settings menu. And once we get into the settings menu, we're going to go to the phone menu and then Bluetooth device list. Now I've got a Bluetooth device paired, so we're going to disconnect it. Um, it's not a huge issue, but just want to get that out of the way before we add a new device. So down at the bottom you'll see add Bluetooth device. So we're going to go and tap on that. You're going to get a message about uh, setting the phone to discoverable um, and turning the Bluetooth on, which on the iPhone, once you get into the settings, you'll see Bluetooth. You get into Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on, and it's already discoverable. Um, it's kind of a nice feature with the Bluetooth in the iPhone is that it's pretty easy. So we're going to hit continue, and it's going to search usually pretty quick. The iPhones seem to be pretty quick. So there's Jim's iPhone. We're going to go ahead and click that, and then you're going to see a pairing code 071259. We're going to match that up 071259 and hit pair. And that's that. Uh, phone is paired. Um, now you're going to see a couple notifications. Um, you're going to get one on the cars display um, that is about Honda Link Assist. This is a safety system in the event of a collision. Um, it will attempt to call out to emergency services from your phone. So you want to go ahead and hit that and turn it on. And then on your phone, um, you used to have to go in there, but the new iOS update um, changed it. So you'll see a little I next to connected. We're going to touch that, and that's the information screen. You'll see notifications is on. In the past, you had to turn on the notifications, so you might want to check that out if you've got an older phone or an older iOS, but now it is actually uh, the default for it to be on, so that allows you to get your text messages through the Bluetooth system. So um, pretty cool. Uh, it's nice that they changed that in the last update. Um, so now we're going to go back home and audio. We want to check out the, the Bluetooth audio. So that's one of the cool features of the, the Bluetooth system in the Accord is that you can actually listen to Bluetooth audio. So you'll see um, we've got Pandora running right now. Um, so when you have Pandora running, when you have the app from the, the car running, you'll see accessory mode on your phone. Um, do make sure your volume is turned up on the phone, um, otherwise you won't get any audio in the car. Um, so make sure that's turned up, but uh, you'll see it's an accessory mode. It kind of blocks out most of the stuff that you can do, but you can thumbs up, thumbs down um, right there, as well as change stations um, right there through the app. So kind of a pretty pretty slick interface with uh, Pandora if you like listening to Pandora. Now, you can go to Source. Um, there is iPod, so if you plug your phone in through the USB, um, there's also Bluetooth audio. So you can use Bluetooth audio if you've got... Um, iHeartRadio, Spotify, any of the other kind of music systems that you, you use. Um, anything you're playing on your phone can be streamed through Bluetooth. The, the interface is just a little different, um, and you're not going to get quite as good information. So um, let's go to the phone menu. Now you're going to see uh, Jim's iPhone, call history, speed dial. Those are always present and always available. And then there's the phone book. In the phone book, you'll see alphabetized kind of just structures a little bit up at the top. Allows you to kind of cycle through the different uh, letters in the alphabet. Um, skip on over if you want to, to the end of the alphabet. And then there is a special characters, etc. Um, column as well. And then you go back to the, the beginning of the alphabet if you cycle through that. So what we want to do now is set up a speed dial. So speed dial. Import from call history is one of the options here. So we're going to go and import from call history. We're going to select Jeffrey. Um, and then we're going to set up a voice tag. Um, it's not 100% necessary. Honestly, um, it, it kind of tricks the system up a little bit. Um, I would recommend using CarPlay if you have an iPhone or higher. But we're going to go and actually set one just so you can see how it works. So we're going to go yes. And you're going to get the record option. Once we hit record, it's going to give us a countdown. Three, two, one. And we say Jeffrey. And then it'll repeat back to you what you said and uh, tell you that it's successfully recorded. And you hit OK, and you've got a voice tag stored for that speed dial. Now there's up to 20 speed dials that you can uh, basically set. Uh, most of us probably don't have that many people, um, but I'm going to set one more just to show you one of the other options, uh, which is import from phone book. So you can cycle through the alphabet and find somebody in your phone book and uh, use them as your speed dial rather than going from your call history. So we can select Marilyn Bunger. And we're going to select the mobile number, not the home number. It just uh, makes sense, right? Voice tag again. We're going to wait for that countdown to pop up. And then use the voice tag, Marilyn. And it will repeat back to us and let us know that it's successfully stored. So we're going to go ahead and store that in there. Now, the important thing is your speed dials um, are always available. Your phone book locks out when you're over 10 miles per hour. 
um, but your speed dials are always available as, as is your call history. You can always just tap to dial if you want to call one of your uh, speed dials. It's always there. Um, the other option is to use the uh, voice button on your steering wheel to uh, make that phone call out using voice commands. Um, so once we hit the voice command button, um, you're going to get a menu that pops up. gives you a few different options. Um, so if we select phone call, and then we uh, use a name that's in there. So we're going to try using Marilyn um, just because we did program that as a voice tag. So um, we say Marilyn. It recognizes it. Now it's going to give us a few options. Those are all stored in the uh, contacts. So now you can select one of those. You can use the voice command to say one. Um, you can touch it to select it. Um, either way. So we went ahead and it said one. And then now we're going to say two to do the mobile device and it's going to go ahead and make a phone call. Um, so it's going to call her and uh, you know connect you. Um, we're going to go ahead and cancel that and you know back out of here and not make the phone call. But uh, it just shows you a couple different ways that you can utilize the Bluetooth system to make phone calls and uh, get in touch with the people that you need to get in touch with. So that's just kind of your basic phone menu. Um, again you can just touch to call. Um, again, it's always there and always available, sometimes easier than using the voice system. Um, but sometimes you don't want to take your hands off the steering wheel. So uh, we're going to go and hang that one up as well, uh, just to show you kind of how it works. So I um, hope that gives you a pretty good idea how to use the Bluetooth with your iPhone. Um, it's a great feature, great safety, um, and we hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Uh, check us out at uh, HowMyHondaWorks.com.